Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing an eyeshadow palette declutter. Now, this is a video that's very different from what I've done before, but I'm trying to kind of expand my content. So if there's any other videos you want to see, be sure to comment down below. This is going to be kind of a segue into filming my eyeshadow palette collection video. So this was me just kind of getting rid of some things that I don't use. So if you're interested in hearing what I'm sadly getting rid of, then just keep watching. <laughs> So about half of these palettes, I'm not going to lie, they are from my BoxyCharms and I will explain that further. But I'm going to start off with the palettes that aren't from BoxyCharm. So these are like legitimate palettes that I picked out myself that I am getting rid of. So the first one is a longtime favorite of mine. This is the Lorac Pro, just the regular one. I recommend this to everyone. This has gotten so much use from me. This is beaten and battered. Yeah, for quite some time, this was my favorite eyeshadow palette. I use it all the time. And quite frankly, I'm just getting rid of it because it's old. So this is going to go in the trash. Yeah, I just remember using this in high school. And just to give you some context, I earned a degree from college in May. So as much as it hurts me to get rid of this, I have to. I can definitely see myself repurchasing this potentially. I'm not going to because I have so much makeup, but that idea is not out of the window. Next, we have the MAC Burgundy Times 9. Again, I bought this years ago. I think I bought it either in my freshman or sophomore year of high school. I got so much use out of this. MAC eyeshadows are very hard pressed, so these actually don't look like they've ever been used. But seriously, I use this a ton. I truly love this, this color scheme. It really flattered my eye color. I just, it's just old. I have so much more makeup now that I prefer instead of this. These little nine pan palettes though are great for travel and I also use this a lot for traveling. And it kind of makes me sad to get rid of this just because I have a lot of good memories with this guy, but it is time to go, it is old. I'm going to back to MAC it. Okay, moving on. I am also getting rid of the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I just never use this. I think they try they got this out of their line. I did see it on sale for like 50% off somewhere recently. But yeah, these are just colors that I never use. I've wanted to keep it in my collection because this color high is stunning, but there's I'm not I'm not gonna keep this palette because of one color. I have so much other better palettes with better formulas and color schemes that I actually enjoy using. So this guy is gone. I did get rid of my original naked palette as well not too long ago. So yeah, the Urban Decay Naked line is just I love my Naked 3 and my Naked Heat palette though. All right, next we have the Kylie Holiday 2016 palette. This is her first holiday collection. This collection I absolutely loved. I bought the bundle, the packaging is genius, but this eyeshadow palette just wasn't a good formula at all. These eyeshadows, some of them aren't pigmented, some of them don't blend. Um, I did keep this because one, I bought the whole collection, I just wanted to keep it. This color is amazing and this color is amazing. The rest of them are trash, so I'm finally just like, I need to get rid of this. This isn't as good as her other eyeshadow formulas that I do have. There's no use in keeping this, I never use it. So I think I'm actually going to give this away to my cousin or something. Also, this one's getting given away as well because it's not as old either. By the way, I want to hear your opinions on her new holiday collection, what you think. It's pretty and I really love that baby blue packaging. I think I'm going to pass on it, but I will get into that in a different video that I'm going to do. All right, so this is a palette made with individual eyeshadows from Shop Miss A. Now, this was gifted to me, but I don't know. These kind of smell chemically and I just have eyeshadows that are so much better. For one dollar, these are really pretty and the colors that they sent are absolutely gorgeous, but I just want to give this to somebody who's actually, you know, going to use it because this was sent to me, so I really would like for it to be used. Either one of my friends or my family is going to get this. I think this is, ugh, these colors are so stunning though. I just have so many other eyeshadow palettes. I know I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to give that away. And then also I have the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. Now the reason I'm... <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting rid of this. I'm really, I'm having some hoarding problems here because look how freaking stunning this palette is. I love to use these eyeshadows wet as an all over lid color, but I just never grab for these. 
They aren't very good dry. You do have to make the formula work. And I have other BH Cosmetics products that I think are just so much better, but this is just so beautiful to look at, but it just, it doesn't get used. So I need to give this to a better home, somebody that's going to love it and actually use it. All right, so moving on, I do have quite a few BoxyCharm palettes. Now I am going to hold on to these palettes for about another month or so because there is a video that I have in mind that I would like to do. So I am keeping all of my BoxyCharm stuff for now, but after I film that video, I'm giving these all away. Now, why would I keep my BoxyCharm subscription when I'm giving these all away? I always get something in my box that's worth the $20. To me, the subscription is absolutely worth it. I just have so much makeup that I know I'm not going to use everything, and that's okay. And like I said, I always get something that like changes my life that is worth the $20 in that box, so I'm not mad at all that I'm giving these away. And of course, somebody else is gonna use them and love them, they didn't have to pay for them. So the first one is the Crown Glam Metals Palette. I just wasn't too crazy about the formula of these. These are basically like the Morphe formula. The colors are really pretty, but I just, I have palettes that have these colors in a way a better formula. So just for me, I'm not too crazy about it. So I'm going to let this guy go. Next we have the BoxyCharm and Pure palette. Now I was so excited for this palette because look at these colors. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. But honestly, Pure really let me down with the quality on this. They definitely cut some corners with this palette. The formulation just isn't good. It makes me sad because this is gorgeous. You can definitely work with it. I'm going to give this away to somebody who's going to appreciate this way more than me. But I know Pure has way better formulas than this. So I think that's what made me kind of upset with that palette. All right, so this one is a recent one. This is the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. To be honest, I haven't even put this on my eyes. It's just not something that I'm going to use just because, oh my gosh. I tried to get the plastic off and I just dug my nail into this blush. Look at that. Wow. Okay, well anyways, I heard some really good things about this palette. People were liking the formulation and the colors of these are super duper pretty, but I'm trying not to hoard too much makeup, so I am going to eventually pass this on to somebody, but I know somebody is going to love this because the colors in it are really pretty. That's some good stuff I'm giving away. This also is a new one. This is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale eyeshadow palette. Um, didn't even touch this. I just, the colors don't interest me and I know it's just gonna sit on my shelf and I think this is going to be a really great palette to give to somebody who, you know, doesn't wear that much crazy makeup. They're going to love this. So I wanted to try this out for sure and I'm pretty sure I would like it because um, the brand does pretty decent products, but I'm not gonna let this palette sit on my shelf. I would rather give it to somebody who's going to use it. Then we have the Crown Pro. I don't even know what this eyeshadow palette palette is called. Um, it looks like this. This again is one of those palettes that has that Morphe formula. These don't wear very well, but I did wear this a couple times and I did like it for sure. Good colors, but I mean, how many warm palettes do we all have? I just have so many and I just feel like this would be better passed on and not my collection, not my shelf. Um, these last three are face palettes. This is the Pure Bronze and Brighten and I actually had quite a few good experiences with this palette. I brought it with me to travel. So this palette didn't go unused and unloved, but I just have so much better travel palettes than this because this is so shimmery, but this is actually very, very, good quality. When it's sitting on my shelf because I have so much more expensive makeup, I don't want this to take up space, you know? Then we have the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Palette. I really, really like this palette a lot and it hurts me to get rid of it, but the only reason why I'm getting rid of it is because I have both of the Anastasia highlighting palettes and I have the Alchemist palette from Kat Von D, so there is no need to have this in my collection. And you know, I've obviously I paid a lot more for those other palettes than I paid for this one, so that's the only reason why, because I paid the least for this. But this is a really lovely palette. Then I have the Pure Sculptor palette. I stepped on it and like broke the mirror. Um, but these colors are just too deep for me. This smells like chocolate. Um, you could create really pretty everyday looks with this on your eye too, so yeah, but 
don't know, these just aren't my contour and bronze and highlighter shades. There's no use of me having this in my collection. And I don't dislike it, it's just, you know, personal preference. So those are all of the palettes that I am decluttering and saying goodbye to. I definitely should have decluttered way more than I did, but I am weak and I am a hoarder, so... That's just, these are just what I had the strength to give away. Maybe, hopefully I will declutter a little bit more. Let me know if you're interested in seeing my eyeshadow palette collection, your thoughts on the things I'm getting rid of. Um, yeah, so remember to subscribe, comment down below, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.